it's Kim from Kim Dixon Creative and I'm here today with projects for the Not Too Shabby Shop using the I Want It All Sparkle and Shine Kit. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is take out the stencil and I'm going to stencil a background using some um, Simon Hurley Lunar Paste in Prom Queen. Y'all know pink is my color and this bright pink is super duper my color and this Lunar paste. I love it. I just love it. It's so so cool And I'm just gonna stencil this background and we're gonna lay it over to the side to let it dry So now what I've done is I've taken some paper from the paper pad called pampered pooch that came in the kit And we're going to make a sheet load of cards using the March 2023 sheet load of cards from crafty out and I'm just going to show you a couple of the um, uh, steps where I'm cutting the paper apart. And um, you can, I will link the sheet load instructions in the description box below so that you can see um, the dimensions and how to cut everything and um, assemble everything. But I just wanted to show real quick, running through um, cutting, you know, some of the papers and putting some of the cards. I'm not going to show you putting all eight of the cards together. And yeah, that's right. You get eight cards out of four sheets of six by six paper and, um, you know, a couple of sheets of um, colored card stock. So that's pretty, that's pretty awesome to get that many cards out of that little of paper. So um, I'm just going to go through and cut down this paper. Um, according to um, Alicia's instructions and the paper pack in this kit is so cute it's got a lot of images that have to do with dogs um, and I think all of you know that I am a dog person we have um, a little dachshund that we rescued about three years ago and she is snoring right here by my lap as we speak and, um, <clears throat> but, um, excuse my scratchy voice. Um, I've had a cold. Um, the pollen in Alabama has been brutal and, um, it's, it's, it got me this year. So, um, so I'm just going to go through, this is the colored cardstock that you cut or, um, in, in Crafty Owl's original instructions or original set that she made she used white cardstock and then colored um card bases i'm using colored card bases and colored cardstock now here i go i'm going to be all fancy and i'm going to pull out my t ruler and try to get all these perfectly straight and lined up and that lasts for one card front because I didn't see any difference. Mine were all still crooked. So <laughs> I just eyeballed it, you know? Um, it works better for me just to eyeball it. So I'm gonna be all particular and try to get everything lined up just right. And it just doesn't happen. You know, when I go to put this next piece on, it's still gonna be, um, it's not going to be straight, even though I use the T ruler. I mean, you know, I don't know. So here I go. I'm going to get this uh, centerpiece. See there, I'm I'm not even straight there. So I'm like, whatever. So I'm going to get that piece put in, and then I'm going to go to my next card front, and I'm. Again, going to try to use that tea ruler, you know, I'm like, Mac, whatever. Put that to the side. Let's just, let's just get on with business and glue that down. Um, but the paper in this paper pad, it is just precious. Like I was saying, there's lots of um, images in the paper pack that have to do with dogs. But there's lots of images, lots of the paper in the paper pack that have nothing to do with dogs that you could use for all kinds of occasions like that stripe that you're seeing there um, you could use that anytime so now I'm going to stamp my sentiments on my eight sentiment strips that you cut out um, 
and I'm going to use the one from the stamp set that says wash your cares away and I'm just going to stamp that on all eight of my little pieces of uh, uh, sentiment strip. I did not have enough of the pink paper to do um, the pink sentiment strip so I just did white And as usual, I'm a klutz. I'm going to get glue everywhere, and I just did that. But it's okay. It wipes off. If it doesn't, then you put a piece of ephemera there. Now I'm going to go back through. I like to do this kind of in steps. So I'm going to go back through now and pull out from the ephemera pack that comes in the kit um, just some images that will go along the right side of that sentiment strip. And there's foam tape. Of course there's foam tape. Um, so uh, I'm going to, I kind of overdid my little poodle here um, on foam tape. It's not going to go anywhere, I don't think. But um, just put him right there. And then i um, going to get another one. And going to glue that little, I think that may be a chihuahua, um, onto the other side. The images in this paper pad are just so, so gorgeous. Um, and just the, the little animals are just precious. Look at that little Yorkie in the bathtub. Is that not the cutest ever? Um, I, wish, I wish that was on the other side of me, um, sleeping curled up next to me like, like my, my dog is, whose name is Precious, by the way. So I took the scraps that I had and just cut those into little uh, banner ends. And I'm going to go in and just decorate the insides of my cards. So now we're going to work on the um, bonus cards with our little stencil background. And so um, I cut it in half diagonally. It ripped, so I ended up having to, you know, cut one piece of that half down a little bit more. But that's okay. It's going to work out. I pulled out some glitter cardstock because, um, you know glitter sparkle and shine so we've got to have some glitter and um, so I'm just gonna um, glue those down I cut um, the glitter card stock just slightly smaller than my card front mm -hmm. and then my I just cut my little panel down um, diagonally down the middle and um, then I like I say I had to cut that other piece a little bit this lunar paste is um, very very shiny um, so I've got sparkle with my glitter and shiny with my um, glitter paste, uh, yeah, my lunar paste. And so I'm just going to take a couple of the images from the ephemera pack again and um, decorate up the front of these cards. And um, because I'm putting a couple together, I do want to use some foam tape here. You know, that pretty girl is washing that puppy. And then on this one, I have this lovely lady that is going to be putting away some clean towels that she has uh, prepared for their pet salon. And so, the, like I say, the ephemera pack is just precious. I stamped out the sentiment sparkle and shine and fussy cut around it just to go up in the top corner of my cards. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the projects that I made with this kit. I want you to run to the shop and get this kit. I've linked it down below in my description box. Um, you can um, get the I Want It All bundle and um, because you want it all. You, you want it all. There's um, the stamp set. There's the, um, the stencil. There's the die set that goes to the stamp set. There's an ephemera pack and a paper pack. Um, and it's just it's so much fun to play with. So... Um, you know, I like to do pretty things. I like to do flowers and that kind of thing, but sometimes I just want to do cute and this is so cute. So head on over to the shop and, um, pick that kit up. Um, and while you're there, check out some of the other stuff that Jamie has in the shop. Um, there are, um, some really great things, including some not too shabby products that, um, you really need in your craft arsenal. So until the next video, bye. Thanks for stopping by today. 
If you're not already a subscriber to my channel, I would be so honored if you would do so and hit the little bell icon so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Until then, here are a couple of my videos from the past that might inspire you. Thanks again.